like a phoenix rising from the ashes. That's what former Reading chairman Sir John Medeski hopes for the future of the club as it fights to avoid administration. Yes, a deal to sell their training ground to Wickham broke down yesterday, which means they face a shortfall of around a million pounds to pay this month's wages. There was a time when the Reading rush onto the pitch was reserved for all the right reasons. How different to the mood now? Reading Football Club will be deducted six points. This is a result of persistent late payments to HMRC. The game between Reading and Port Vale has been abandoned. Royals' approval has plummeted under Chinese owner Dai Yong. I hope he realises what he's done to thousands of fans that care massively about a community club. And I, I, I just have nothing positive to say about him. And the sooner he goes and lets us all have a bit of peace, the better. When Sir John Medeski bought Reading in 1990, there were problems to solve. But steadily, he built an empire, a new stadium and a team that won promotion to the Premier League in 2006. They had their moments. It's a right royal night in Berkshire. And enjoyed three seasons in the top flight. But gradually, the picture changed. In came Russian investment, a Thai consortium, and as Reading came within a kick of a return to the Premier League in 2017, a new Chinese owner. Mr Dai pursued promotion, but instead what followed was a tale of financial mismanagement, poor decisions, points deductions, 18 in all, and a relegation that leaves them in the bottom half of League One. Extremely sad, totally and utterly bizarre and unnecessary. You know, my real uh, anxiety as we speak, is for all the poor people that work at Reading Football Club who just don't know where they stand and they don't know where they're going to get paid at the end of the month. And the latest twist came last week when the club said they're open to selling the admirable Bearwood Park training facility. The buyers? League One rivals Wickham. An agreement was quickly reached, a protest quickly arranged, but it fell away just as promptly when it emerged only Reading were able to train there. But in amongst the bedlam, their young squad have focused on the job in hand. Manager Ruben Sellers has kept his dignity throughout a chaotic campaign, but even he admits off-field issues are now having an impact. There is going to be a moment that we cannot handle anymore. And let the situation, and uh, I think we are arriving into the into the limit in this kind of situation because it's just about points deductions, about uh, wages, about uh, food, about hotels, about now the training ground. When, as you say, you just basically you don't know what you're going to do with in that situation. So it's starting to get really hard for me personally, and I know for every member of the technical staff because we are suffering the same. His patience is wearing thin. The fans ran out some time ago. Not just with the owner, but with the EFL. You need to think very carefully about what you're doing for the smaller clubs that aren't surviving. So I think they've, they've got to do something now. If Reading becomes the next Berry, shame on them because it's, it's disgusting. For a club this big to go under, um, maybe, just maybe, we're the straw that breaks the camel's back. Reading's on-field form has kept them clear of trouble. Saturday's 4-0 win against Cambridge lifted them seven points clear of safety. But if they can't find around a million pounds to pay March's wages and tax bill, administration and a 12-point deduction may loom. And Sir John Medeski won't be riding to the rescue this time. It's too late now because, I mean, if Mr Dyer had been uh, a bit more open to, say, get in touch with me or even uh, consult me to, to try and help him, I'd have been only too pleased to. But I'm not going to poke my nose in where it's not wanted. Those that hold Reading so close don't necessarily expect a quick return to their greatest recent days. Just a new owner and renewed optimism that a club with more than 150 years of history won't become the next Berry, forced to start all over again. Reading will be like the phoenix rising from the ashes. I think that somebody will come in and see the opportunity. There is a marvellous opportunity for Reading to do really well and for somebody to come in here and make an enormous success. I firmly believe that, but I just wish they'd hurry up and come in.